Well, that's all right, sir, because I don't want to scare anybody anyway. Oh, you! I'm going to try and find me some friends.
and let my friends out? Fifteen men on a treasure chest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of pop. Casper's the friend that we like best, yo ho ho, and a bottle of pop. <laughs> myself a new sword. I'll become invisible so that I don't scare him. Stop! You mustn't do that to my friends. Hey, who said that? I did. Casper. Hey, it's Casper. He's come to our rescue. Invisible spooks talking kettle to water. Oh, my castle is haunted! Come on, Casper. No more running away for us. Ho, ho, ho. We didn't know how good we had it. Well, running away was your idea. Oh, don't blame me. The table and the chair started it. Just wait till we get home. We'll fix those guys. Here's your kettle and silverware, Wendy. I'm glad they're back. But what are they angry about? They're all blaming each other for starting things. You guys got us into this mess. Says you. Yeah, it was all your fault. Oh, we didn't do anything you did. Are you looking for trouble? How much longer does this witching hour last, Wendy? My book of 
magic says it lasts from midnight to cock crow, Casper. It's a long time until cock crow. They'll wreck the place if we don't do something quick. Wendy, I've got an idea. Hurry, Casper, before everything is broken. I'll try getting a rooster to crow and end this awful witching hour. Wake up, Mr. Rooster. Gosh, he's sleeping so soundly I can't wake him. Maybe I can get his attention if I enter his dreams. Hello there. I'm Casper. <laughs> Golly, I didn't mean to scare him. Is everything all right, Wendy? Yes, Casper. The witching hour is over. Everything is back to normal. I hope there's some of your delicious brew left. Here, I made another batch that I hope won't brew up any more trouble. <laughs>